Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Weekly Loot, MO Attack's weekly news show that also gives you a chance to win some loot of your own. Stay tuned for the end of the video for more information on how to get your hands on some of that loot. First off, Funcom has announced that the 1.1 update for The Secret World has been released. The patch brings seven new missions, two new Nightmare Mode dungeons, along with a new marketplace and a host of fixes and enhancements to the game. The update also hints that you can get a new achievement as well as unique clothing rewards for completing all the new missions. Some of the more interesting fixes and enhancements include certain monsters such as the Royal Sadist will not attack a player when dead. It's probably a good thing. And also it is now impossible for players to make their characters nude. Not sure why they would want to do that. That's one of the main reasons I played the game. The full list of the patch notes will be included in a link below. In one of the biggest announcements of the week, EA has stated that their sci-fi MMORPG Star Wars The Old Republic, or Stwar, will be joining the free-to-play market this coming November. From the press release, it appears that EA plans to offer two different options for players. The base, free version, and then a subscription option. Those that opt not to pay anything will have full access to all classes, driven story content, and up to level 50, but will have limited access to some areas and be completely restricted from doing any of the game's operations. EA did say that they would introduce a new currency called Cartel Coins, which players could purchase with real money. This currency will be used to remove some of the restrictions imposed on free-to-play users, but no word as to yet what exactly. Besides removing restrictions, the currency will also be used to purchase in-game items, gear, and other standard cash shop items. Wargaming.net has just announced to the world that their free-to-play naval action MMO, World of Battleships, is getting D.Va and changing its name. The game will now be known as World of Warships to, and I quote, more accurately reflect the framework of our Wargaming universe. The developer says that the game is staying exactly as it is, just changing its name. This will no doubt get them more searches on Google as it more closely resembles World of Warcraft. World of Warships will be included in the Wargaming.net common economic system that will allow players to distribute resources between their three titles, World of Warships, World of Tanks, and World of Warcrafts. There is a new god in town. High res Studios just released their latest god reveal of Anhur. On her? On her. The lion-headed Egyptian god of war. Anhur is the son of Ra and uses his spear as a ranged physical assassin. The video reveal shows all of his skills and abilities and gives you ideas on how to use Anhur in battle. Well done, Hi Res Studios. Well done. And finally, Sony Online Entertainment has announced that Bullet Run has completed open beta testing and is now officially live. The game was developed by Aikini Games under the name Hedone before Sony acquired the publishing rights and had it renamed Bullet Run. In Bullet Run, players fight other players on a reality TV show where performance is everything. In a rather interesting concept, the players or contestants must show off their style and skills to the arenas. The better players do, the more fame the players acquire, which gives them the opportunity to choose and unlock new weapons, mods, and cosmetic items. The game currently features six different maps to choose from, with promises of regular content updates. And yes, the game is also available on Steam. And now for the loot. We are again offering a $20 gift card for the Steam store, which you can use on pretty much any game in their library. To win the loot, you just need to head over to our Facebook page, link is below, and tell us on the weekly loot post which game you would buy with the Steam card. Thanks again for turning into the weekly loot, and we hope you have a great gaming weekend. Peace know that I get the whole falling from space station thing. What's to get? I mean, why? It's frustrating, like, I don't quite get the point of it. Well, it's supposed to be space themed, hence you fall from space. Yeah. I mean, I kind of get that, but it's so clumsy and unresponsive, like, you're falling and you see those little solar dots, but you can't get them. You're always so close and it's really frustrating.